Hello everybody, this is Derek. It is the 9th of September 2009. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the scams of ETFs. Now you got the first one, like the GLD or the SLV. Basically, that means uh, do they have the gold, do they have the silver, and there's a lot of evidence that would say no. But I mean, I see it more on the lines of like a casino code. Basically, uh, a casino code that could go higher, could go lower. But when we look at some of these ETFs, like say, for example, the dollar. On uh, the, If you were to buy the dollar on the 29th of January 2008, you'd be down uh, a little over 2%, just a shade over 2%. Yet, if you would have shorted the dollar buying UDN on that period of time, you would be up about... Uh, a fraction of a percent so you're down two percent if you go long and you're barely up if you go short and that's not that big of a surprise and that's not really fraudulent but we take a look at some of these other indexes right now these other funds for example the single long gold fund if you were to buy that on February the 20th, 2009, at its high at 97.80, you would uh, be at 97.12 today or uh, 68 cents in the hole. Yet, if you would have bought the short at the same time, you would have bought it at 22.75. And it closed today at 22.67, down 8 cents since you bought it. So, basically, what that tells you is they're both down. And they're down minute, uh, so I'll give you that. But they are still both uh, down nonetheless. I've been even saying that these uh, double and triple index yields were meant to go to nothing because if we go to November the 21st and buy both the FAS and the FAZ, which is like the triple long and short financials, the short is down 98.4% with the long it's only down 76%. So either way you go, man, you are going to be getting hit. And that's a triple yield and a volatile financials. But even say, for example, the uh, S&P 500, if you were to buy the uh, long fund on uh, the 11th of July, you would have had to buy it at around 57. Today, it's like 32. So you're down a quite a bit in the short fund. You would have bought at 62. It's at 42. So they're both down like 30%, both on the long and the short side. But you can say to yourself, well, once again, that goes to the double yield plays. That's how they work. They're meant to be held for short term. Okay, I'll give you that. But what happens if someone wanted to make a smart play and instead of wanting to go long, wanting to short? And the thing is, is they want to hold long term, so they play a single play. The single financial situation, the XLF, since that same July 11th period, is down 22.4% and well from its lows. Yet the short fund, the single short fund, is down 42%. So we got a single long fund down 22 and a single short fund which is down 41. And the reason why is because they nickel and dime you every single day. If you see a fund like XLF, which is up 3%, you're going to see SCF, which is the single short, down like 3.1. And you could say, well, that sounds pretty reasonable, does it? Well, the answer to that is no, it's not, because the down movements have to be lower than the highs in percentage numbers. For example, 20% gain would go from 100 to 120. So if an ETF or like an XLF, or say the S&P 500, say SPY goes from 100 to 120, that means if the short fund was at 120 at the time, it should go to 100. And 20 into 120, that's like 18%. So if a fund goes up 20%, that is the same as losing 18%. But these ETFs, they don't really uh, have it that way. And whether or not the all everyday stocks are set up where they're nickel and dime in many other ways, I know with high frequency trading and the spreads that you pay, they're nickel and dime you that way. And whether there's been manipulated doubt in ways I don't understand, 
it really wouldn't surprise me too much, but when I see the single financials down 22% in over a year, and the single shorts down 42%, there's a lot of problems in the way they uh, have calculated it, because we've seen XLF go from like 1868 to 1450. So, theoretically, that should mean that the short should be up 20-30% in this time frame, but no, they're not, and... Uh, like I say, if you're playing stocks, you're playing a, a glorified casino game, and it's risky. It is truly, truly risky, but I don't know. Those ETFs, they seem a little fishy in my opinion. I'm just rambling on, so I'm going to cut it at that. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.